So on today's edition of Weird Stuff I Find on Amazon, um, today we're gonna do a video on how to create your very own fan filters. So this is Skunk Works, and one of the problems with Skunk Works is that they're, oh, I dented it, I'm gonna have to push that back out. Anyway, it's easy to dent this grill. That's, I digress. <clears throat> the problem with Skunk Works is never had fan filters. And so there's this kit I found online. I don't even, oh, Moco. It's the brand, M-O-K-O, Moco BSC two-pack DIY case dust mesh filter in black. <gasps> it was manufactured on July 28th, 2023. Cable Mod's new Stealth Sense technology effectively eliminates the need for sense wires for your 40 series GPU. Stealth Sense features a hidden bridge which signals the GPU that a full 600 watts is available, all without the need for fragile sense wires that can easily be dislodged, leading to a black screen and 100% fans. To see the full spec list and power supplies supported, follow the link in the description below. So, I mean, it's one of those things where if, if I needed this, somebody else might need this someday. And the thing is, not all cases have fan filters. And if you have a really old case, it may not have, may not have had any at all. So here is, the mesh material. This is a two pack. Oh, it's already bent in the corner twice. Anyway, this is a two pack, not to be confused with Tupac. Uh, that's something different entirely. It's very, very basic. It's the same kind of filter mesh material you would find in, in the case. Oh, it's porosity is pretty poor though. <laughs> so what you get right here are these also double sided sticky tape uh, magnets that you would double side sticky tape on there. Now, yes, Skunk Works is aluminum, which means magnets, they don't bitch on here very well. Yeah, bitch! Magnets, oh! Get it, magnets, okay, whatever. But what I was thinking I might be able to do is double sided stick, because I, I could bend this in a 90, and what I was thinking about doing, if the airflow isn't too, too terrible, although it seems like it's gonna be pretty bad, um, kind of bend it 90 degree, 90 degree, right there, and then I can have magnets along the inside of this frame, and then magnets along the, the filter so that it will just magnetize to the outside because they give you enough to be able to like, so, I mean, it'd just be like this, right? They would magnet to themselves like that. So that's the idea anyway. Oh, some of the sticky came off. The drawback to Skunk Works in its entire life, in all the iterations it's ever existed, has been dust buildup. And that's because there's no filters whatsoever. So, I mean, I think they came up with some later on, but I never had any, but that's besides the point. First things first, I want to test the airflow of this. So I'm gonna get a fan, I'm gonna get my airflow meter, my, an, 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 what's it called? Anemometer, that thing. <laughs> and I'm gonna see just how much the airflow is affected by that, filter. Okay, so again, this is JFM. It is not calculated. So it's just a before and after number is all we're looking at on there. Right now with no sort of resistance on there, we're getting 84.7. Oh, I think my hand being right here affects it. Yeah, my hand being on the actual other side actually affects it. Duh. Okay, so there's 87. Let's put this in front. Wow, it's like half. I can still feel lots of airflow though. Well, regardless, we're still gonna go forward right now and, and show you how to do this because this is still gonna be useful for somebody. I can always go back and try this later, but I don't want to, but I, I think I'm just gonna have to... I think what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna make the filter for this guy and I'm gonna see how much air I can feel coming into the chassis. Um, this won't work for the bottom. I had considered making this for the bottom as well, but clearly it's not long enough unless I have it be like two pieces and I really don't want to do that. And you can get these sheets in different sizing. Um, I went with one that I felt would be big enough for most people to be able to either make a top filter, although a filter on top is completely pointless because of the fact that any exhaust technically doesn't need to be filtered. That would just be hurting your airflow as you could see for exhaust. Yeah, but Jay, dust can fall in your case. When you turn your system on, any dust resting on top is gonna get blown back up. So it really doesn't matter. All right, let's get this open. So first things first, we have to get the length just right. It needs to be able to fit within the little lip that's on here. So I'm gonna go with like right there. So I should be able to cut right there with a razor blade. Hey, look at that. Okay, so lengthwise now, this should fit right in there. Yep. Maybe a little bit shorter than it should have been, but that's okay. 
now I need to bend this. Like this is when I wish I had some sort of a bend break because then it would be easy to just push a button and it's bent, but so I got to make one at this point. Normally this is like where you guys would just cut the rectangle to the size you want and the, with the thing and, the, and done, right? That'd be more like suitable for a short rather than a video, but I'm trying to make this for Skunk Works now. Still not even sure I'm gonna be able to use this because of the airflow being as terrible as it is. But I'm committed now. How many times can you bend it before it breaks? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Three. <laughs> Not nice. great, not great, but that is not pretty, <laughs> but it's okay. It doesn't have to be pretty. It just has to be functional because this part on the sides isn't going to show. See, the side that shows is all that matters. That's not good. <laughs> it's not very good airflow. It's really just not, but there's nothing else blocking it in this case. So this would probably be okay. I really am just trying to keep I almost feel like I don't even need to put the magnet on there because it's just like... Oh wow! Because it, it wedged itself under the little screw things that stick out in the middle. There and there. Well, just there, I guess. But we're gonna... Oh. What I didn't consider <laughs> is the thickness of the magnet. <laughs> oh, right. And twice, because that's pretty thick. It's so, like I made it fit in there perfectly without the thickness of the magnet accounted for. Once I count for that. Oh, you know what? It's still. Eh. I made a manual press break. Nice. <laughs> Yay. My brain works sometimes. Except I think I bent it right back where it was. <laughs> I will get this. Point, it's out of spite. Yeah, <laughs> even if I don't use the damn thing, I will not be dumber than the piece of metal. <laughs> Again, why do you all have to agree with me so quickly? Or agree, or disagree, whatever! Son of a... God! <laughs> Get over here! I think it's probably a little, just a tad too narrow now. I mean, too narrow. It's barely too narrow. Aww. That's okay, I can use this one as a guide. All right, I got one more attempt at this. So I've decided to try and do this the right way this time, okay? Don't get used to this. Otherwise it would not be a J's two cents thing. It's 144 millimeters. It's 143.85, I'm gonna go 144. Okay. They're 10 millimeters. So 144. So I was gonna do the math myself. Yeah, this one was 14 and 5 eighths. No wait, 7 eighths, 14 and 7 eighths. Yeah, I know, I just broke every European's brain right now. Like, ah, what the hell is this number? If you get it started, it just keeps in a straight line because it cuts right along the holes. <laughs> it's like it perforates itself or something but I did not stay along the lines, so there's that. I feel like a lot of my kindergarten report cards and stuff were like, we'll not color within the lines. <laughs> Wait a minute. Americans refused to use the metric system in place of the imperial system. And the imperials in Star Wars were the bad guys. Yeah. Did I frick it up again or not? Ooh, ooh, there's a gap, but it's barely a gap. I don't feel like the double-sided sticky tape on here is gonna like hold very well over time, if you wanna know the truth. It's still too wide <laughs> with the magnets in there. Jeez, okay, you know what? As long as it doesn't like, the, the suction of the fans doesn't pull it off. So the filter has not fallen down. I don't think it will get sucked in. Some of the air is still gonna bypass the filter and come out through here and through there, but again, shouldn't be too bad. Like it's a lot of air still, but holy cow, is it being obstructed? <laughs> like it is actually really being obstructed because it feels like it's blowing through a rad now. This isn't the way it goes in, but I'm just holding it here. Oh dude, so much air goes in there though. 
It takes a lot of RPM though to do that, whereas before I would have gotten this much air with no volume, no noise at all. I wanna see now if we can get any lighting out of this. So I'm curious as to how much the lighting has been uh, reduced now. So I'm gonna take it to the workbench. I mean, it obviously dims out the lighting a bit. Hmm. The only thing is it'll look weird because this will be dimmer than all the other lights in the case. Although I do have a tinted, a slightly tinted side window going in there, which should then make it all about the same. Oh well, I can just pop it out if I end up not liking it. So realistically, it's just glorified mesh material that come with some crappy adhesive sticky magnets. So as always, I gotta see what I paid for it. $9.89. That's not bad, I guess. Um, but anyway, it does come in 120 by 240 or 400 by 300. So 400 by 300 is what I had to hear. But 120 by 240, so almost like a default size for like a radiator, I guess if you wanted to like drill holes and screw it, screw it right into the radiator or the fans. Um, four times 120 by 240, so that's the number of sheets. Ours, ultra small pore size, effectively block dust to make system perform at its best. Others, large pore size, easy to get dust and bugs in, but I kind of want that one, <laughs> to be honest. Maybe I'll try that one. Anyway, there you go. Like I said, I'm always looking for weird stuff on Amazon that I might be able to use and share with you guys, and that's what I did for this one. If you guys want to see some of the progress of Skunk Works, you got to check out those build logs because they a lot has happened since last time. Uh, behind the scenes and we'll take you guys on a walkthrough for that. All right guys, thanks for hanging out today. You probably did it better, so tell me how you would do it. See you in the next one.